Hello, 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 everybody. Welcome back to another edition of Mastering the Life with yours truly, Stevie Jones, your Miss Supernational Trinidad and Tobago director. Guess what, guys? It's Gents Day on a Wednesday. Gents Day on a Wednesday. <laughs> you have to do the little shimmy. Yes, okay. <laughs> All right, that was an inside joke because I think nobody knows what we're getting on so much. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but guys, just in case you don't know and you have no clue about what we're talking about, the young lady I'm about to introduce to you today is one of the finalists in this year's Miss Supernational TT competition. She is the representative for the fantastic, ever-talented community of MOVA, Janelle Thongs. Jen, welcome, my love. Thank you so much for having me. You're I miss you so welcome. much. I miss Hi you everyone. too. Hi everyone. It is Jen's Day on a Wednesday. On a Wednesday. I mean, I'll just say that. Just head over to my IGTV or my official Facebook so you can see all the videos and all the episodes. Fantastic. <laughs> fantastic. I just realized, TV, we are matching, you know. We see? are kindred spirits, kindred spirits. I, I know. <laughs> and we, didn't, we didn't even plan this. I, this is it. The your sisters mind. will kill you for saying that <laughs> <laughs> all love all love girls <laughs> so sweetheart it's been a while yes i know i know um lots been going on i know that you've been um you've been back out to work um never so you've stopped been, you never stopped yeah yeah, yeah. Never so your, stopped. your clinic has been up and running your dental clinic where you work at has been up and running yeah Yes, but we're back to full capacity, wow. patients all day, every day. Yeah, it's right. been a lot, but okay. thankful nonetheless. Yes, thankful. So many people do have jobs. Exactly. So you've been, you've been full-time employed. Mm-hmm. Um, you've been um, doing your work on your, your pageant training. Yes. And everything else that I'm sure you're doing. Mm-hmm. How are you coping um, you know, fighting a good fight, as <laughs> the old people would say, you know, yeah. one day at a time. Yeah, right. Um, but honestly, it's really thankful that I still have a place of employment. Um, thankful for the pageant. Um, being able to see the girls twice a week, every week. Um, even though this is the first time I'm seeing in a couple of weeks, but you know, it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, really, just taking it a day at a time. And just trying to make best of the situation that we have right now. Yeah, of course. Yeah. And I think you've been doing a good job. Um, like Thank your other you. sisters have been. Listen, I am. I am really. Um, I'm really inspired by the way you ladies have leaned into this opportunity, especially in this extraordinary time um, right. where there are so many uncertainties. Um, so many questions that we still can't answer in terms of who, where, what, why, and when. Yes. Yeah. And how and if. <laughs> um, and I think it's because there is something either higher or deeper that's guiding this. 100%. What, what's, what's, what's your take on that? I mean, because you don't know for sure what's going to happen. <laughs> with, with right? Supra, but we go in full throttle, right? <laughs> um. And I think with that being said, it shows the great initiative of my super sisters, um, of the executive, um, the fact that we did not allow our circumstance to be our outcome. Like we don't know what is going to happen, yeah. but we're taking it in full stride. And this speaks testament um, to how influential and important this pageant is we are getting to learn and grow so much through this we've yet to this is the fun fact here guys we've yet to meet yeah <laughs> right As yes in, i could pass one of my sisters on my way home <laughs> right so it's kind of funny but it shows the innovation and it shows that we are we can rise to the challenge mm-hmm. um you can't really put into words, and I can't put into words how amazing this pageant has been thus far. It's been what a month and a two months, two months, About two, months two months already. Yeah, in and it's raining. 
I know. Well, yeah, that's what I mean. You know, we yeah. have to be training. We are going for the crown. Whoever, whenever, if yes. ever. She's going to be ready. You know, she is. She has no choice. Yeah. yeah. And now she can't say, oh, I can't, I can't make it to, to training. Yeah, no. <laughs> you have internet. Yeah, no. Organize thy life. Um, so I wish you guys um, could have had an insight into our very first session with the team why is, why is everybody saying that listen to me we have it's, not then i don't think the people on this live are going to believe us when we see yes we've not listen. spoken all you know is that you have a session at x time and <laughs> be present make sure that i exactly. can be there i can see you exactly but, but we've we've not we've not spoken about what to say so it'll be a common thread so what's that about? right i think it's important that people be genuine and they be authentic to their truth out mm-hmm. and when i say that i mean you could not know someone there could be a whole new war but if i meet you for the very first time and you are genuine with me and i am genuine with you i can be open to share any experience i can be a shoulder for you to lean on i can be and listen in air and I don't have to know you for 10 years to do that yeah that's all about humanity that's all about being um a good person if you know you just boil it down to what it really is Mm -hmm. and that first session was so instrumental especially for all the young ladies and myself including because you know your Stevie made me cry let's just leave it as that (laughs) um but it was so it was so eye opening, and this is all before our first introduction video even dropped. I know. So while we had this session, like you know, we're all sharing and bonding and growing, and then bam! Oh wait, rested in our competition. What, 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 what's going on? What's going on? <laughs> <laughs> and it allowed us to truly be super sisters because now we're like really fully 100 percent supporting each other mm-hmm. like we know each other's stories um a lot of people were able to talk about things that i'm sure that they haven't opened up to in a while and they did that with somebody that they've never even met yeah and i, Guys, knew that, I wish that, that sounds it sounds risky um mm-hmm. and, and to the naked air um, mm-hmm. It almost sounds unorthodox and unconventional. Like, why would you do that? Why would you bear your soul? Yeah. Um, so it's a competition. Vulnerable. Exactly, in a competition, yeah. especially mm-hmm. virtually. But mm-hmm. I think, I think to to put that um, that sharing into into a greater context, I think we all came together at a time when time has escaped us. Mm-hmm. Um, socioeconomic background um, really mm-hmm. didn't matter. All of, our, all of our inhibitions about who we think we are and who we feel we are and what we want to be, it, mm-hmm. like, it really just didn't matter. Like, when we started um, interviews, it may have been right after interviews, and we were in the thick of the pandemic, so to speak, you know what I mean? Like, we had yes. just yeah. got the full blow of it here. Mm-hmm in Trinidad and Tobago. Um, and I just thought to myself, of course, I'm, 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 I'm wearing several hats and I'm using different lenses, right? And I'm saying, mm-hmm. are we going to find a super girl? Are we yeah. going to find a girl with all of the qualities? What are we yeah. going to say to these women? Because there are so many entities. Are we going to do this pageant? What we're waiting to hear from the international... Listen to me. We were pulling <laughs> our hairs out. I was... I had... I I kid you not when I tell you guys, I had a perpetual headache for almost two months. I'm telling you. Mm -hmm. Now, I usually suffer really badly with sinusitis and migraines. Mm -hmm. But this time, on on top of Saharan dust and my own stresses of of not being employed, because, of course, I work in the event industry. Mm-hmm. And I, I recently started working full-time on my own last year. And I took on the franchise last year. And we entered in a big way. In a big way. Right? <laughs> and then, boom. 
Rona, come. And just... Like, who invited you? Sh- like, who, who sent for you? Like, who sent for you? And there were all of the anxieties. And then mm-hmm. I keep saying to myself, and I, I was saying to, to Ramon and to Esther and to the others and Chef and they, I said, guys, there, there has to be something in this that's mm-hmm. keeping these, these girls here. Yeah. There has to be. Yeah. And, and you know what? We've never been, and this is no shit on anybody else, but we've mm-hmm. never been concerned about numbers. Whether it was 35 of you or five of you. Because right. for me, very fundamentally, I believe, and I think the team, we're on the same page with that, is if God sends us five women, that's the five women that God wants to be with us right now in this time. Mm-hmm. 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 And, I can agree with that. And, and we had to figure out how to, how to align all of our trust issues. Mm-hmm. Especially now that, because of course, we're welcoming. A, a new group of children into our home, right? Right. And so as parents, you know, you, you want to put on a brave face. Mm-hmm. And the way you talk about that first session, I think we were also just very vulnerable. And we said, guys, this is what it is. Exactly. Exactly. And everyone literally took it for what it was. And we're literally making the best of it. When I tell you, um, when people are late to sessions, <laughs> I'm calling them like, hey girl, what's where, what's where you at? <laughs> what's, yeah. what's going on? Yeah. The, fun, the funniest thing was, was it last week or this week when Samantha, <laughs> Samantha Rampersan. <laughs> I didn't even get to me. I had a Guys. good laugh. <laughs> <laughs> it's how Sam, was it, was she in the wrong session or was it that she, she thought that session was going on and was the wrong day? You remember that? I eh? think, yeah, it was just, I'm like, I'm calling, I'm like, Sam, <laughs> what's going on, girl? She's like, oh, gosh. <laughs> I love Sam. I love you, Sam, ma'am. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, so, with you. Yeah, with yeah, you. with, with you. <laughs> with, with. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, Jen, I want to ask you, I, I want to talk about a couple of things in the time. We have like about uh, 30 minutes left. Mm-hmm. Um, do you think in, I mean, and I'm, I know this is going to mean something to you because you've been through pageantry before. Mm-hmm. Do you think not only in, in this, in this era, but particularly mm-hmm. 2020, 2021, do you think that pageantry mm-hmm. is relative? Um, I'm in a, I'm in a pageant during a pandemic. So <laughs> that, <laughs> you don't have to be so shady. Just, speak for itself um i i'm kind of almost happy Mm -hmm. because now it's showing you what it really is about Mm. right because here we are competing for something that we don't know is even going to happen we have no idea where the future holds this could be the new normal for five years Mm -hmm. and if that is the case, this will not be for now. Yeah, I, I speak for myself. Um, if you guys do follow me on Instagram, on Twitter, on my official Facebook, if you follow um, Miss Supranational TT on all its platforms, you would see that we've had a super social responsibility challenge. Mm-hmm. And personally for me, um, I have been wanting to launch this for quite some time. Mm-hmm. And... I, it was actually a bit depressant for myself last day. I decided that I didn't want the bells and whistles. I'm going to give myself, you know, the platform to give back. Hmm. Um, and Mr. Supernational, if it's one thing, if it's one thing and it's not one thing that I can take away from this, it was giving me the platform to do something that I've always wanted to do that I can reach so much people with that I believe in my heart that I can't do. Like when I say I'm so passionate about this, there are times I'm like inconsolable, just mm. thinking about the things that I want to do and the lives that I want to change because we've all been there. Yeah. And when I say we've all been there, we've all been somewhere and sure. we've all come from something and we're all coming from something. So in this post pandemic era, 
it shows that it really isn't about the crown. It's not mm -hmm. about the sash. It's not about the title. It's not about the fancy clothes. It's not about flying here today because you can't even go a place. You can't even go to the beach. Mm -hmm. Far less travel to um, to another country, to, yeah. to Europe, to, you know? Yeah. You think about the Rainy Miss Supernational. She's not traveling, but now she's using her platform to do bigger and better things. And this is what it's about. Yeah. This is why pageantry, sorry, this is why pageantry is relevant because for the right <laughs> reasons, while it's, I am growing for myself, I know what I am gaining from this personally. I want to share this with everybody else. Mm -hmm. And... I really do hope, I know there are naysayers, I know there are critics when it comes to pageantry, mm -hmm. um, but I love being on the stage and I, I would love the opportunity to have my country sashed over my body and for them to say, you know, your winner is Miss Trinidad and Tobago. I would love all these things, yeah. but if I don't win, if we don't get to go to Poland, if, we, if, if nothing comes of it, I know yeah. that we all decided to make a difference in our communities, make a difference yes. for our nation, for our friends, our families. Um, and that is something that you can't take lightly. Sure. So for anyone who's out there listening, watching us, know that we're doing this for a greater good and join us in this journey to find out exactly what that greater good um could really mean sure yeah and i want to i want to add something to that it's mm -hmm. not it's not us against you it's not us against Definitely. them like i say that and i i feel i feel great discomfort in my chest because mm -hmm. what i'm sharing with you jen and what i'm sharing mm -hmm. with our folks who are joining us on this live stream Mm -hmm. It is the unedited truth. And yes. I am probably going to get in trouble from my fellow directors for saying things that are that doesn't sound politically correct. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. this is not about us and them. This is about us. Full stop. Full stop. This is Agreed. about us because Jan, you see our you see the survival of, of the human race? Mm -hmm. And I could tell you because I've lived this. I've, mm -hmm. I've lived, I know what poverty looks like. I know mm -hmm. what it smells like. I know what it tastes like. I know what it mm -hmm. means to be marginalized. Mm -hmm. I know what it is to be abused in different ways. I know what it is to physically and emotionally and spiritually cry and break down and reach ground zero. Mm -hmm. And simultaneously, I've also known what it is <clears throat> to come out on the other end of that and mm -hmm. also use my own wounded, woundedness to become healing for other people. Yes. And if but nothing else, I'm talking to my pause racing, if but nothing mm -hmm. else, Janelle, I want, I want for all of you who come into this time and space of pageantry to leave mm -hmm. with, Yes, I want you to leave with a crown. And yes, I want you to leave with a yeah, sash. Yeah. And yes, I want you to have that experience where you can feel a sense of national pride and you get a stomp around you and you feel good. I want that for you. But what I also want is that the day that I have to sing at your funeral or I have to officiate at your funeral, I want to be able to say that I know that Janelle or any one of these 14 girls in the year 2020 that they've served their community with mercy, that they were slow to anger, that they were willing to think about their neighbor before they thought about themselves, that they were willing to take off the makeup for a little moment and to allow their bare humanity to shine, to shine forward because so many young black girls don't know what it is to look at their black skin and think that that's beautiful and that that's enough. Mm -hmm. Okay. And, and I'm making that up because I read it in a book. I'm making it up because I've lived it. Mm -hmm. I have lived it. I've watched people lay in a box covered in white fabric with flowers on top of it. And you literally don't know what to say to their families who are left behind. Yeah. Because some of those people is what we call collateral damage. 
And so this whole Black Lives Matter, All Lives Matter, LGBTQ Lives Matter, Women's Lives Matter, it's relevant because all of our people, all of our humanity is in pain. Mm -hmm. Everybody mm -hmm. is crying out. Or as a matter of fact, I want to dare say all of creation is in pain. Yes. The earth has been begging for some relief because guess what? Mother Earth has been saying, I can't breathe for a long time mm -hmm. because, of how, because of our insensitivity toward the environment. Right. And so the same passion, and, and I know I'm going to get licks for this, but, but don't get me wrong, because I stand with my Afro-Americans and my afro Tremagonians. I stand with you. I, I, I see it. I feel it. I live it with you. Mm -hmm. But if we allow ourselves to hear the deeper cry, we would hear not only the voice of one sect, mm -hmm. but we would realize that that voice that we're actually hearing, hearing is an echo of many other voices mm -hmm. that are also crying out and saying, treat us fairly, treat us justly, give us a chance. And so when I see you in particular, and I see a young, strong black woman enter into an environment, especially putting yourself, and I want to dare say at risk, to go potentially to a European country that could become so nasty toward black people. What do you see? What do you see, Janelle? Um, it's not going to be the first time, um, and I'm sure it won't be the last. I think it is imperative that the narrative continues and the dialogue continues. And I said this earlier, literally on my Twitter, that I'm feeling a shift. Mm -hmm. And if you can't identify with it, then maybe you need to stop for a moment and think, why can't you identify with this shit? Um, yeah, so being a black woman growing up in this beautiful Spain island hasn't always been easy. And um, for a very young age, you know, dealing with colorism especially, mm -hmm. um, I never thought of myself as a conventional beauty. Mm. How could I, when for a very young age, I've been hearing about my very dark skin and my kinky hair and my short hair, and that I was a tomboy, so I never really felt feminine enough. I never felt worthy to be a woman, a black woman at that. Mm -hmm. um, I've had my experiences while traveling where I'm literally stared at, and I'm like, hmm, you're real sweet, because what, yeah. what's, what's going on? I've had those moments in traveling. I remember I was traveling to Sri Lanka to compete in a pageant, and we were in New York waiting for the plane to go to Dubai. And this couple would not stop staring at me. If you have to ask, yes, they were. And I was reading a book casually and I'm like, okay, whatever, I'm not taking it on. It's kind of like my ancestors were like, look up. When I looked around me, I was the only one yeah. of my color there. I was literally the only black woman there. And this is and where? Was just, this is in New York, in JFK. In New York, in JFK, really? Right. <laughs> Waiting to board a flight to Dubai. <laughs> the only black woman. I remember being on that plane. Um, we stopped in Italy first. Um, so on our way, um, a woman from South Sudan, she got up to pray. She's Muslim. Black woman got up to pray. I was literally like, oh, okay. She's in the aisle praying. Continue watching my show. The uh, people are up in arms. What is she saying? What is she doing? And I'm here like being born from a multi-ethnic, multi-religious kalalu. It's insane for me to feel this in my own country. Yes. It's so heartbreaking to see uh, the tea shops, the, the owners of city. It's it's heartbreaking because I always believed we were bigger than this. Mm -hmm. 
Should not have to be good, need to be bigger than this. If you look at your family, if you look at your circle of friends, if you look at your co workers, if you look at the person next to you in a taxi, we are literally a melting pot of people. So, how could you? I have to stand with my black brothers and sisters all over the world when we have to say that our right. lives matter because right. regardless if I'm Trinidadian, American, or 100% from the African soil, when they see this, this is what they see. Yeah, correct. So I agree with you when you say it's an echo of voices. It's an echo of voices. We need to stop for a moment and literally listen. Humanity for the longest of time has been lost. And even in this moment, I do not want us to lose hope. In this moment, <laughs> it's difficult and it's hard and you feel yeah. angry and you feel pain. And when does it stop? Yeah. Sometimes I understand that you have to shake the table. Sometimes you have to break the table and get rid of it altogether. Because how are we going to see change if we don't change? Yes. It's, it has been, when we started this conversation, guys, Stevie asked me how I was. And I said, the last couple of days has been trying, mentally exhausted, emotionally exhausted. If you turn on the TV, it's just more and more. There's an outcry right now of women who are standing up and men, God bless your souls, of, you know, standing up to be being sexually abused and sexually assaulted. And it's a lot. Yes. All during a pandemic. We can't even forget that fact that there are people literally losing their lives. We're in the middle of a pandemic. It's so much. Like, I, I see this I, just because so I, I know we need to move on to other things, but I, I see, I see yeah. this as well, <laughs> almost like a form of modern day martyrdom mm -hmm. where there are some people who are willing to die for yeah. that thing that we may, may seem and deem to be insignificant. Yes. But but to them it means everything. Everything. Yes. I, I said it a year ago when we had the influx of um, migrants in Venezuela. People mm -hmm. have the fundamental right to migrate. Mm -hmm. That is your human right. You have mm -hmm. the right to a better life. You have a right to travel across um, the desert. People have and this dates back to our biblical history. And in whatever right. religion you come from, all of our ancestors and our forefathers and foremothers have made long journeys of sacrifice. Yes. They've made a commitment to their See God, whatever. Listen to me. <laughs> and I, I feel this in my heart. And I know I'm going to lose friends to saying this. Our mm -hmm. generation of young people do not know what sacrifice is. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we, I can stand with that. We, we, it's, it's, not, it's not sufficient. It's not sufficient. And, I, and, and, and don't get me wrong, I'm, because I know people are fed up. People are fed mm -hmm. up. People are hurting. People are deeply wounded. And the truth is, we, we, you see, our systems have failed in so many ways that we've not taught our generations of people, children, youth, young adults, and adults. We've not taught them alternative ways to deal with, their own, with our First of all, with our personal conflict, because I myself don't know how to do it my own conflict. I can deal with somebody else own. Preach. <laughs> so I feel I could just, because somebody deal me a bad hand, I must go and burn down the treasury. Guys, Stevie, literally, when he made me cry in that first, uh, he made me cry. When he made me cry, it's literally because of that. Because I came into it saying, I want to help. I want to heal everyone. I want to be there for everybody. And he literally was just like, oh, what about yourself? Tears. Buckets <laughs> drop. <laughs> uh, Buckets. <laughs> and, and, and that's why I, I feel very, and I know that you guys feel it and you hear it and you probably say, oh my God, this is not the place. This is so, this is so <laughs> not how a pageant is supposed to be. But I feel very strongly 
And as for, okay. for as long as there is breath in my body and I have an opportunity to accompany young people on a particular journey in whatever mm-hmm. space, whether it's in a pageant or otherwise, because you can mm-hmm. dress up a dolly and the dolly can be empty. Yeah. And I'm not sending no dolly to Poland. You're not going to embarrass me. You're not going to embarrass yourself. You're not going to embarrass your country. You better have some substance inside your body. But I think I wonder if people think about um, that's why they have this outlook on um, pageantry. Um, we all know um, what it used to be a beautiful face, a beautiful body. Oh, she can walk. Oh, loose. Oh, I've actually been in a pageant. I won't call the name where yeah. one. And wow. I don't say that. <laughs> Oh gosh, I don't say that to be uh, funny, but it's so funny because after I won, um, and I won Miss Congeniality as well, because um, I just love, like, I love pageantry and I love what it does for young women. So I'm always ensuring that everyone has a great experience because I've had some terrible experiences as well, right? And I remember after winning, when I tell you, I, in Trinidad, I get waste down. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, how she could win. Mm-hmm. She not even this. She's yeah. black. Yeah. How, and I'm like, yeah. So much so, um, one of the girls that I competed with, it, um, she literally messaged me after and she apologized um, on behalf of her people because she was just like, they don't even know you. They don't know you. Mm-hmm. Meanwhile, I am the, you eat today, you all have water. Smile now, girl. Making sure everyone is having a grand mother, mother hen, mother hen. Watch me. Uh, yeah, yeah. And that's not going to change anything, because eh? as these yes. girls know, I can't wait till I meet them so I can hug them while socially distancing. Gary, don't come for us. Let me don't call his name. They say if you call his name too much, then he appears. He disappears. <laughs> <laughs> but Jen, I think that's one of the reasons why um, we are so committed to, because let me tell you, uh, this mm-hmm. uh, taking on Miss Supernational as it came to mm-hmm. us as a gift, and because it's, it, it came to us as a gift, mm-hmm. um, you know, this that saying, to whom much is given, much is expected. Right. Um, and, I, and I treasure this opportunity, this, this gift, very, very mm-hmm. dearly. Um, and, and that's why we feel so strongly that our approach to the type of training that we offer to our young women and to our young men mm-hmm. and to our, our team, because the team as well has to do their own training and formation and development. Because right. you said it some time ago, your car fall from my empty cup, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That mm-hmm. we have to take a more integrated approach, approach. to yes. you can definitely how, see that. How, how? Because I tell you, I, I we've seen it, guys. We... And, and this is no bash on anybody, on, on any administration, on any delegate. At all. But we all. have seen how you could chisel a body, you could send it to get implants, fix the lip, fix the cheeks. You could get the best wardrobe from the best designers. And those things are great, you know, beautiful. But I mm-hmm. want, and this is my desire, I want that mm-hmm. when you have all of those things and you put it on top of a, a grounded woman, a woman who's well-formed, yes. who has a sense of herself, who can walk comfortably in her character, who's not afraid to talk about her scars mm-hmm. or to show her scars and win, lose, mm-hmm. or draw that her dignity doesn't walk out the door with her. That's Ooh. what I look <laughs> for in a superwoman. And that is what he's creating with all of us. Every, if you, guys, you can't even see because you're not edited, but you if you know. see the growth, there's some in particular, and I'm saying this, and they're probably like, what are you like, talking like about? Like, what are you talking right? about? Yeah. You know, yeah. I'm seeing growth in myself, for sure. But I have seen from challenge to challenge, some people I'm just like, oh. Yeah, and, and that's to me, I think, one of the most beautiful parts of this process, I mean, which is why we started this. Um, that, that's why we have been using social media as um, mm-hmm. one of our, our strong extended arms so that we could, yes. in some small ways, even though we have so many limitations, we could mm-hmm. give to the public a glimpse. Yeah. Um, Let me say glimpse. Look. Guys. Yeah, because I'll tell you something, yeah? Jen, <laughs> we, we haven't even 
done our makeovers as yet? I, you, we keep going back to the point that we have not met. This, what we need is going to be... That could be drums, you know. I can't wait. <laughs> <laughs> I can't do be a drum. <laughs> I can't wait. I can't wait. Oh, it's going to be good. And, and, you, and you know what? Let's, let's tell our viewers now mm-hmm. that that's going to be something to celebrate. Our theme for this year, and we, th- and we conceptualized this since last year. I dreamt it. I brought it mm-hmm. to my other fellow directors. We shared it with the team. And I mm-hmm. said, guys, we, and this is before Corona. I just, <laughs> God just places in my heart. And I said, guys, we have, we have so much to be grateful for. We have so much to celebrate. And I wanted, I wanted for 2020. And mm-hmm. of course, this is after we come back from Poland and we went to your award and we went and did tech, tech, you know. Big things, guys. Big things. <laughs> and I said, we're going, this year, we're going to call this year. The theme for this year is a celebration of beauty, our culture, our heritage, our people. And watch. How timely. Two months How... after. How and the timely. challenge, that... Jen, the challenge is not going to be even in, in the doom and the gloom and in the pit mm-hmm. of this darkness mm-hmm. is to find the beauty in things still. Yes. And to look for moments to celebrate. Yes. And that doesn't mean that everything Negating else is the fact just... that things aren't going on. You see, things can coexist, guys. That's it. Okay? I done. We so... are done. Let me throw on my cards. I done. <laughs> see, see, we just live in my brain, guys. You're... We... See, and I, our conversation. Yeah, boy. Different level. My brain. Different level. Rent free. <laughs> White house picket fence. <laughs> One ship in bill. Say I'll do that. I'll do that. All right. <laughs> so listen, just we we are on the tail end, guys. And if just in case yes. you're just joining us on this live, you are tuning in to Mastering the Live with yours truly and with the ever beautiful Janelle Thongs, <laughs> uh, the representative of the community of Mova in the Miss yes. Supernational Trinidad and Tobago pageant 2020. Um, and just in case you want to kind of go back, you could kind of pull the mm-hmm. screen back. Or you could press replay after this live and you can join, follow the conversation and become a part of it constructively, of course, um, mm-hmm. and, and become a part of the movement of change and of, of positivity where together we lift people up um, and we hold them, we hold them as we lift them up. Jen, I want to ask you, um, I know yesterday you would have seen and heard that our mm-hmm. international president, Gerard von Lipinski, has officially mm-hmm. launched the uh, community social initiative. It's called yes. From the Ground the Up. Ground and yes. From the Ground Up for our viewers <clears throat> mm-hmm. really is um, part of the DNA, as it were, of the Miss Supranational brand. So people ask, people ask um, who is Miss Supranational? What does she stand for? What mm-hmm. does she advocate for? What's its identity? And as a young brand, we are going into our 12th year. We are very happy and very humbled to present to the entire world and to all of the countries where Miss Supranational brand is with the CSI initiative. Yes. Jen, a few days ago, you would have launched publicly your um, Super Social Responsibility Project, which yes, is very timely. I very, know, very, because right? we, we, we had no clue this was coming. Like, no <laughs> clue. Share yeah. with your viewers and your followers and your supporters what your project is about and how they can connect and support you. Yes. Okay. So if you see the big smile on my face, it's because this is something that I am so absolutely proud of. Um, of all the things I've done in my life, this will go down as one of the things that was just, I'm just so happy to be able to finally get this off of the ground. Uh, so the name of my super soup. Run for something, let me just eat it up while my way. <laughs> my super responsibility, um, it's let's each one reach one charitable initiative. Now, when people hear it's a charitable initiative, they're like, oh, is this an organization? Like, what is this really about? Mm-hmm. When I say initiative, I want this to be a movement because it can exist without four walls. 
can it can exist in every area regionally internationally i wanted something that can transcend um geolocation transcend who you are like whatever you can bring to the table so yeah, no the motto really it's all about helping where you can when you can with what you have and it doesn't matter who you are who i am what we look like or where we come from we can all each one reach one and when i say that i mean it's so true to my very core to who i am because in my introductory video i said that i always believed that my experiences will never be for my sole benefit i use that as a coping mechanism to as you see celebrate beauty to see the positive in things even when it's downright ugly and negative um so i am trying to create this initiative and movement so that we can be like a, it's a butterfly effect when you see good that you do good you may not be able to end some grand scheme of a thing i always go back to like will hunger poverty will work you may not be able to end this thing by yourself or but you can you affect can it help. So this is it it's all about helping where you can and where you can might mean helping your coworker yeah where you can can mean someone in your community where you can definitely means as well helping yourself do not ever see helping yourself as selfish because like we said before how can you pour from an empty cup it's so important to me for us to foster this this spirit of volunteerism of wanting to give back and this is what it's about so i know a lot of people will be like oh but you're touching on a host of different things as funny as it may seem yes this is a competition and this is a surprise to all of my super sisters as well as to you guys because you guys have no idea what's going to be the today but it's okay <laughs> because it lets each one reach one charitable initiative is all about bringing awareness to different causes and different initiatives um and i started for the month of june that we're going to be focusing on mental health from my second month i will be every month featuring one of my two professors and their initiative oh <laughs> my god <laughs> could you stop you're making me cry you know what i mean that <laughs> it's really about doing what you can so when i say it it can literally just mean a uh, sign in a petition it can mean putting up a post because now you're creating dialogue and you're creating a conversation about something that people may not know about um so it's not all the time that you think oh i don't have money to give to this or i'm feeling sick and i can't go for this walk and i can't support a uh, uh, like scotia bounce or republic bounce some um, breast cancer awareness walk but you can post about it you can have that conversation with your friends and your family yeah so let me say it again it's all about how to where you can when you can with what you have and it doesn't matter who you are I, I um what we look like or where we come from let's each one each one i'm so happy and proud to just be a part of this and i uh, i can't wait for my super sisters to see this um so i'll be contacting everyone you know especially so we can just feature them and you know that their great work can be seen even more let's each yeah. one reach one and it doesn't matter who you are who i am who we are collectively where we've come from yeah. or what we have what we don't have sometimes it's the small acts of kindness that goes a long way to sustain a human life jen this has been yeah. absolutely delightful and very thank inspirational you. thank you so very much for being open to this conversation thank you to those of you who are have joined us on this live and yeah. Yeah. who have been journeying with us since our birthing last year and who mm -hmm. have renewed your commitment to walking this golden path to Poland mm -hmm. all the way to the crown with us. Mm -hmm. And in whatever way that you, you love us and you support us, we are very grateful that you are here with us because we strongly believe that it's only together that we can do this. So okay. Jen, just before we log off, Tell us, how can we find you? What's your social media handles? So you can find me on Instagram at g.songs underscore mstt2020 
or on Facebook at general.t mstt2020. So you're probably wondering why is it different? Facebook doesn't recognize my last name, y'all. <laughs> this struggle is very real. It's very real. <laughs> it's very real. A lot of people are like, oh, is, is that your name? They're like, Thomas, you know what you see. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> it's okay. I've heard it all. Uh, Crystal, uh, yes, I'm looking at you. Um, <laughs> you can follow me on Instagram. Um, sorry, um, I said that. You can follow me on Twitter at Jenna Thomas as well. And for my each one, each one charitable initiative, you guys, you can follow it um, at E-O-R-O dot T-T. Um, you can also email us as well as E-O-R-O-T-T at gmail.com if you have any questions. If you want to be a part of the initiative, if you have something that you think that we should bring awareness to, um, definitely reach out to us and we would love to be a part of it. Thank you so much, Stevie. I miss you. Too. You're welcome. I miss you too. <laughs> I miss you too. And guys, if you want to be a part of, of not just Chanel's project and Chanel's movement and you want to be a part and in some way support all of the other delegates, the finalists yes. in this year's Miss Supernational Trinidad and Tobago pageant, Feel free to hit them up. You can visit us at Miss Supernational Trend to Tobago on YouTube. And there you could find a little insight into their lives and some of the work that they've been doing via video journalism. And you can also follow their Instagram pages um, and their official Miss Supernational TT pages. Just type in MSTT. That's the hashtag and you're going to find it. And if you need to uh, email us, well... It's simple. It's crowns and the sashes, 868 at gmail.com. We look forward to hearing from you. So guys, if you want to continue to follow Janelle or any of other of the Miss Supernational TT delegates, the finalists in this year's competition, feel free to check out their YouTube pages, their Instagram, their Twitter, or their Facebook pages. Just punch in MSTT if that's all you can remember, Miss Supernational Trinidad and Tobago. It's going to pop up. <laughs> And you can like, follow, share, subscribe, and join the journey. Become a part of the Supra family. So that's it for us for today. Until next time, with you peace, love, continue to stay safe, uh, practice your social distancing, wear your masks, your masks once you are heading out, wash your hands, and be your brother's keeper. I am Stephen Jones on behalf of the Miss Supra National Trans Tobago Organization. Peace, love, and take care of one another. Ciao.